And so, uh, but nah, shoot, I crowd. I mean, man, I've always thought the world of Bud. Outside of Floyd Mayweather, I think Bud probably, Bud, you can put Bud in them in any era, and he going to be destructive and dominant as he is. So uh, I ain't never had nothing. I ain't never had nothing negative to say about that man in my life. Never, not once. Time. You can't pull up an interview. It ain't a person alive that can say, I've said anything negative about Bud. Or right, Bud. right, right, right. I Right, but you know how the fans be. They be they be looking for an angle. They they always look for, you know, a reason sometimes to to not like or, or to support somebody. I gotta ask you this. Um, so so was was Spence injured in camp? Did you do a injury to Spence in camp during the fight? Like, why? Where does that come from? Why why do people make that up? The is that all cap too? Because they say he didn't spar for six weeks before sparring. What did you see an injury while you was the in camp with him? And if so, I, um, I was just sparring up to his last three, four weeks. So I don't. So that six week, uh, so the six week window don't add up. So I know Earl didn't put. I don't know. Listen, I'm not giving Earl no excuses. I'm saying. Yeah, and he and, and they keep it a buck. He never made an excuse neither. He giving himself no excuses. He, always, so I, he said, "I grew up on the old law." He yeah, said, who am I to give it? A, Make it up an excuse for the man when I don't know when he ain't give you excuse himself. You see what I'm saying? On, like, no. I don't speak for him. I just say, man, hey, Bud was the better man that night. Hey, you gotta give it up to him. Yeah, he can't. They he they both went home 100 percent healthy to go home to their family. The rematch is activated. Made the best man win the rematch. But I wasn't the right sparring partner for Earl for that fight. T and, what? Tell me why? Because I'm not a softball. But but other than that, like why why do you think they brought you in there then? I mean, you didn't turn the money down, but you didn't no, tell them that before the fight. Like, hey man, but, I ain't gonna I'm gonna turn this far and put the money like. Nah, because Bud is uh Bud is. Why did they bring you in then? Bud is naturally orthodox fighter. He fight orthodox and he fight softball. So they was they was covering all bases, all angles. You think they overbanked on the uh the orthodox stance? Because every time all the footage or what they because here's the thing. I was banking on the fact that they're not even considering the Southpaw stance, which is what it looked like. But from the outside looking in, all the fans were saying, man, they okadoking y'all. That's why Darius James keep doing all the sparring from the from the conventional stance, like when he holding the mitts. Everything you see, you don't hear about. You, nobody heard about any great Southpaws coming into the Spence camp. You know, word get out. Boxing is small, bro. We, we find out real quick who in your camp. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't know who fought the last three to four. I don't know. I just know it wasn't me. Uh, but I, who would have saw? Do you know any soft pause that they brought in? No, I don't. I don't know who he fought. I just know he. From what I heard, I just heard Derek James told me he was sparring somebody that that was real good at switching. I never asked who. I just like okay, cool. And I, because after the Frank Martin fight, uh, I offered my services for more. I was like, hey, I'm still because he was in Vegas and right. right after. Back. I said, hey, man, uh, if you need me to stay down here in Vegas to give Earl some more work, just let me know I'm here. He was like, oh, no, nah, we good, bro. We got somebody that switched. But he was like, man, I appreciate all the help you've done with it so mm -hmm. far. Like, and that was the end of it. That's the last time I talked to him. That was the last of everything. Mm -hmm. So I sent him a text after the fight. I told him, man, look, nigga, you done been through worse. You didn't you didn't survive death. Okay. Absolutely. So you already a champ. Hey, shake back, nigga. It's other weight classes to win championships in. There's other checks to collect. So, uh, Hey, that's all I can speak about that. But um, and that don't mean. And look, even if he was to ever fight that welterweight again, that don't mean nobody else can beat him out there like that. You know what I'm saying? He'll be the rest of these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So back to the Brian Norman business. Oh, okay. let's get back into it. What you got, man? Man, like I said, I pre like when I say I can't thank him enough for taking this fight because I know they believe 100 percent that they're gonna win. Mm. I have no doubt of what I'm gonna do in that fight. And so you got a young, hungry bull versus this seasoned vet. I guess you could say that, even though I'm not no vet, even though I'm just a little older than him. I, but, thought, you, uh, I thought you was talking about yourself when you said young, hungry bull. You're, you're still a hungry bull yourself, right? Most definitely. Most definitely. Bro, bro listen, my ain't bro, nobody I, whooped you yet, right? Hey, I you ain't 13 and 0 for nothing. You ain't 13 and 0 for nothing. Ain't listen. nobody else went out there and whooped your ass yet. So, so what's, what's going to happen? Hey, November 16th. Talk to him. It's seek and destroy. That's all mm. I'm gonna say. I know he coming with that heat. I'm coming with that heat. Mm. 
and shit. May the best man win. And that's all I'm gonna speak on that. Uh what can fans can can fans expect you to stop them? Cause you know they, they they say you're not known for your power, but let's keep it a buck. Ain't nobody walking through you neither. Ain't nobody just said I'm gonna walk through Quentin Randall. Nobody's they, walking through Quentin Randall. Let's keep it a buck. They said that, but I think they said that out of uh, ignorance because of not knowing. Uh, but at the end of the day, I don't have nothing on YouTube. I don't have nothing that's out there on the internet that will make you say, "Oh yeah, this nigga here nice." Like I don't got no. A lot of my fights was wasn't televised, or there's there's no footage of them being shown. So you will probably. Think like, oh yeah, that shit that light, that shit that easy. Until you get in the ring, then you realize, damn, shit, it's too late now. It's hey, it's Antonio Tarver, the champion. You watching Mark Nash at Breaking Beach? I usually don't do drops, but I'm gonna give you one, bro. I'm gonna give you one. I love you, champ.